What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be testing a new dry ice system. Get that was fast. If you've seen a lot of the YouTube videos lately on dry ice cleaning, um, it's becoming more popular and we want to figure out if it's a service that we want to offer here at Chicago Auto Pros. I did use another dry ice machine last year and I was not impressed. It was a very small dinky machine and it didn't clean very well. A lot of the YouTube videos that I see where it's you know getting that really nice clean on the undercarriage, uh, you need a really good machine to do that. So we're going to cold jet right now and we're going to play with the machine and see if it's something that we bring into Chicago Auto Pros. Let's go. I fucking love Miatas. Between my brother's house and coming over here, I yelled wahoo at the top of my lungs at one point. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> wahoo! You got a turbo in that thing? Ah, oh, yeah! <laughs> Hello, looking for Aaron. Yeah, we have, we, I brought a really old, nasty transmi transmission. Okay. And then we got a car with, uh, we brought some lifts too to see if we can get it up and get the undercarriage a little bit going, so. Cool, probably be best just to pull over here, huh? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bruh. Thanks cool. for coming out here and doing yeah. this with us today. This is awesome. We're excited no to see how it works and everything. Well, here, you want me to go around? Want to pull this out real quick? Oh, yeah. Ow, fingers. Oh. All right, got it. Good. There you go. You just set it down. Greg. Perfect. See, nice and dirty. Excellent, excellent, good. Well, <laughs> I wanted to do as real world scenario, so this yeah. is perfect, man. This uh, this works. Hell yeah. So to start at the beginning with like, what is the dry ice and why does it make a good cleaner? Yep, so let's just dive into that. So so you're at a company called Terra Supply. So I work for a cold jet. We manufacture the machines that make the dry ice and uh, that make the blaster. So we're based out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, been doing this since the mid 80s. Basically, I'm then located in Chicagoland. Terra Supply owns um, dry ice production equipment and dry ice blasters. Okay. Now the dry ice blasters that they have are for more of a, like a contractor, like a serve pro, service master. Yeah. Um, this is the dry ice right here. So, you know, just a pair of cotton or rubber gloves is all you really need. Um, and there's different size pellets and everything too, right? Yep, yep. These are, you know, so they'll make nuggets, they'll make slabs. The slabs would be like if you're on an airplane and the, the cart's coming through, the beverage cart. So instead of ice leaking everywhere, they'd actually have a slab of dry ice to keep everything cold. Yeah. So this basically in just kind of like a slab form. Nuggets, kind of the size of your thumb, that's going to be good for, you know, packaging, for, um, you know, shipping, shipping a whole bunch of frozen chickens or turkeys or what have you. Yeah. But these are three millimeter dry ice pellets they're going into the machine here what's neat then with this machine so acronym PCS 60 particle control system I can click over here and select the full pellet which is this okay and the grinding wheels are set wide open the pellets just traveling through and then incrementally I can select a smaller and smaller particle so those grinding wheels get closer and closer oh. and simply put the bigger pellet is gonna work great on thicker contaminants, flat surfaces, more mass behind it, more aggression. Okay. You wanna go over more sensitive surfaces, more detailed surfaces, surfaces that aren't plastic, or sorry, that aren't metal. Yeah, For okay. instance, plastic wire sensors. Now you're relying on sugar and sand size particles. Less mass behind it, less aggression, more detail cleaning. Okay. Hmm. Yep, so that's all right here. And we, we'll dive into this more. You can save recipes um, for various parts on the car. Um, pretty nice. <laughs> pretty neat. Funny words. How does the dry ice actually clean? It's just our, we're testing our fire alarm system. Yep. I just wanted to give you a heads up. So yep. Okay. It looks like you can chew it. Okay. Nice. Nice. Thanks, man. Yep. Hey, Jamie. Do you want to show them the dry ice production? Sure. So it's just a test? Yeah, just a test. Okay. I'm going to check out all the fire extinguishers. Test of the emergency broadcasting system. Brought to you by... 
So these are 500 pound totes. Basically, you got a week and a half worth of dry ice in there. No okay. it la you're losing about 4% every 24 hours. Okay. It's coming out now, it's negative 109 degrees. Do you want to start with the exterior, the, the transmission kind of yeah. part? And then yeah, that'll be better. Yeah, that's probably so you, so you guys can see it. Yeah. So, one thing I do want to point out this machine also has the option to have a precision or a performance kit. So, you'll notice that in a lot of the video content um, half inch blast hose. Smaller pistol grip style applicator, smaller nozzles. You can see them in, in this uh, case here too. Yeah. So that's going to be more your precision cleaning, tight, hard to reach areas, tight tolerances, small, small detail cleaning. So precision style, or you could go with the performance style. Swapping from one to the next would only take about 30 seconds. They're the same quick connect, they're the same 14 pin cable here. But now you can rely on bigger nozzles. So this is your more aggressive setup. This is your more delicate setup. Don't get me wrong, this is still, you know, aggressive and cleaning fast, but you're a little pigeonholed in the size nozzle that you have. Okay. So we'll start with this, but um, I don't want you to set all your expectation on, you know, this would take probably 10 minutes to thoroughly clean with this setup, probably closer to like half that with the bigger hose setup. Okay. But I want you guys to see and, and feel both, okay? Yeah, absolutely. Cool. As an investment standpoint from us, like what is a machine like this cost? Yep. So this machine is going to be machine, air hose, blast hose. You have the option to get either the precision or the performance. I can tell you that nine times out of ten or greater, people are going to want both yeah. and, and buy both. So as is just one set, it'd be in the mid-30s. Okay. With both sets, it'd be about 40, maybe okay. even a little bit over 40. Yep, mid-30s to 40. And then the air compressor to run it, you're talking about a screw type air compressor that gives you constant flow. Yeah, probably mm -hmm. 8,000, 10,000. And now, I've used a cheap machine too before. Uh, last year we had a, a machine that was about $1,000. It was this big. Yeah. <laughs> and we, that's why we kind of gave up on it. We're like, this is, this is not gonna do anything. Yep, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's, there's, you could, you could say, say anything you want, um, add in your cliche, right? You get what you pay for. Yeah. I mean, we have machinery that you can buy for starting at 15,000 brand new, our entry level machinery, and then use getting into 10. You know, we, we could always go that route, um, and there's not a problem, but I will tell you where your pigeonhole and where your blinders are, you know, yeah, your blind yeah, spots yeah, are. Yeah, yeah. So we've cleaned stuff like this with, you know, hands, brushes, degreasers, mm -hmm. and it gets done. Mm -hmm. Are you mostly selling speed, or is there some other benefit to the Detail cleaning, yeah, detail yeah. cleaning, hitting so like hard to reach clean, areas. But like just, and I understand the dry ice when it comes to the food industry, right? You can't use the cleaners that we would use to degrease this thing. Are there any other advantages to the materials? Disassembly and reassembly. So, you know, your labor tied up to get into hard to reach areas or accessibility to hard to reach areas. Um, there's a lot of that as well. Um, you know, not having to take things apart as much. So a lot of it is labor savings. So we'll get set up with the, the smaller okay. setup. Eye protection, ear protection for the operator. Um, you just saw how noisy it is. Turning up the pressure a little bit, turning up the feed rate a little bit, turning up the particle size a little okay. bit. Now, personally, if I was doing this, I would just do the bigger setup. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But you guys want to give it a try? Yes. I'm just going to scoot this forward a little bit. I don't want to stop. I can't get over how clean it looks. I bet we can get at least $100 more for this transmission now. <laughs> right. <laughs> you ready, Drew? I'll blast this shit away.
So what is it that's actually removing it? I mean, like you're hitting it. Is it the pressure? Is it the ice? Is it freezing it? Or so it's uh, it's three it's three reasons. So comparing it to like sandblasting, sand has just kinetic energy. Yeah. Hits the surface, bounces off, process over. Dry ice has kinetic energy, so it's traveling at a high velocity. Then there's two other things. So the thermal shock. It's kind of like if you're standing at your kitchen sink and you're you're cleaning a pan and then you switch it to hot water and get it removed. It's the opposite. It's the same effect, but it's opposite. Now you're relying on cold, so that thermal shock is actually weakening the bond. So kinetic energy, thermal shock, and then expansion. So kind of that last part where I was saying sand hits and bounces off. This is hitting, and think of it as kind of like a mini explosion, hitting the surface and um, expanding outward. Okay. Yep. So. Sci very scientific for you, but there's three reasons. Right. Kinetic energy, thermal shock, and then expansion. Okay, yeah. killer. You wanna try, Greg? You wanna stick with this? Uh, no, let's get out the heavy artillery. <laughs> I can toss some more ice in here too. Yeah, yes, please. Toss some more. <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> I love this. I just, it's like, now you want to clean everything. I know. How big is this hopper? This holds 60 pounds. Yeah, we could do some stuff on it. Even engine This would be cleaning, easier yeah. to film than do Oh, like all this car. stuff. Like, this is what we see a lot of. Mm hmm. Like this, what do you call that? An undercoating like under spray. Yeah. Go on, let the big dog eat. <laughs> there, there, and here. Oh my God! Well, don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably scale it down just a little bit to the point where if you accidentally go over some of this. Yeah. Yeah, but it, like, that's amazing because that's hard stuff to get off. And then this kind of comes into that whole, you know, saving recipes and stuff like that. So we've got our pressure scaled down to about 40 PSI, uh, 0.3, so the smallest particles, and then, um, uh, where am I at? Half a pound of dry ice. So in the context of more doing more delicate cleaning. What else do I got, you know? Detail everything. Yeah, so I mean, if you want to get more delicate, you always Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, I want to thank uh, Cold Jet and Terra Supply Company for letting us come out here and test the machine. I thought that was Awesome. It was really surprising. Yeah, yeah. So we got to still decide if this is worth it because it's a it's a small car loan <laughs> to get one of these machines. It's a big investment. I like anything that differentiates us from the rest of the industry. So in that respect, it's good. You know, I like how I think there are a lot of advantages to it. The way it cleans. There's you know that was a big greasy job. And if we were using solvents, one we'd be, we'd have a headache right now from the solvents. It would be horrible on our hands, and it would have left a giant mess in the parking lot. We've done it. I mean, we've spent 50 hours cleaning an undercarriage before. So. And then you spend another hour cleaning the floor under the undercarriage. Yeah, and it doesn't get it 100% clean or, you know, even close to that with all the nooks and crannies that we got to go into. So it's something that definitely I think we should look into. I really like the idea of it. Yeah. 
I'm going to put all Aaron's information from Cold Jet in the description below, so if you want to contact him and ask any questions about the machine, you can. Otherwise, thanks for watching. See you next time.